democracy is awesome! I can put it right down to a T! So, I'm choosing today not to watch said episode, so I can't correct Jetstream. No. So, you know, I'm gonna trust her accuracy that, that she'll retell the entire story properly. Mm-hmm! That and it's kind of obvious when she goes off the tracks. Well, I, I, I try and not to do it so much, but I like to input some of my little fantasies here and there. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> Jetstream, go ahead. Anyway, there was a ship, and, and they were flying in the sky, because that's where you fly, in the sky. Wait, and did, anyway, you say, did you say ship or sheep? I said ship. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Weirdo. Who, who ever heard of a flying sheep? It's my belief that these sheep are labouring under the misapprehension that they're birds. Anyway, they were flying, and then they crashed, but they didn't, and they were flying, and then they crashed, but they didn't, and then they flied, but they crashed, and then they crashed. Okay, okay, sounds exciting, go on. And Woodblow's like, you're never gonna fly this ship ever again! And Bea's like, Arr! And then, yeah, they go, they go to the patch thing again, because they need to find out more stuff. Stuff and and B needs to remember some stuff and and they're checking out B's memories and and the and all about the all spike and the all spike is all glowy and things and it's like the all spike anyway Bumblebee in the memory is like driving along and then you know delivering the all spike and uh, and it glows and it glows and makes him glow and he's like oh my goodness this is glowing it's so pretty and then he uses the, the thingy with Jake well he doesn't actually do anything he's just staring in awe but uh, yeah he did finger my dick and he does go glowy. He's like then a he guy. Turns into a magical girl. Yeah, he does! No, he doesn't. Which is sad. I'm sad. By the way, big boom! And and Starscream appears! And it's like, oh my goodness, it's Starscream! Oh my goodness, I'm going to faint! Because he's so screamy. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, there was a big fight and stuff, and Optimus Prime shows up, and they were all shooting and stuff, and they were like, poo 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 poo, and they were like, poo 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 poo, and he was like, poo 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 poo, and it was like, big bird of boom, in oh, your my. face. So, a fight broke out. Yeah, and Windblade saved them, and, and then Grimlock turned up, and he was like, doing some fighting of his own. And and he got shot in the butt. I, I'm. Why was that important? I don't know. It just is. Anyway, Megatron shows up, and he got shot. And then Starscream and Wendy have a fight too. And then Starscream falls off a cliff. He remembered that he could fly, so he flies, which is great because the other guys could remember to fly. Oh no, I'm flying! Oh yeah, that's right, I can do that flying thing. It's not how us seekers ever seem to quite remember that. Especially that Thundercracker. <laughs> Damn it, Thundercracker! <laughs> Damn it, anyway, Thundercracker, it's uh, got wings! Anyway, Bumblebee's ex-girlfriend shows up. And it's, uh, she seems totally pissed. Because, you know, she's really, really freaking ugly. Just saying, my goodness. Yeah, and mm. uh, well, Bumblebee like runs away from that thing. And he got, like tries to power up the space bridge because he needs to do stuff with the space bridge. And then Soundwave turns up and tries to stop him with his sound waves because his name is Soundwave, so therefore he uses sound waves. And let me guess, it was dubstep. It was. Uh -huh. Kind of. But not really. But anyway, Bumblebee uses this stuff and he opens up the space bridge. And Megatron's like, no! By the way, Megatron has a very weird accent to just like, um, and yeah, stuff like that. And anyway, um, um, Optimus Prime got shot in the back, that's it, because he was running, and he was, like, trying to get the old spot to the space bridge, but he didn't make it, because, uh, no, Megatron, like, shot him, and he falls over and lands on his face, and then, yeah, and, um, 
You know, make Trump's like, You're not gonna get away from this, yeah. I want the earth back on to myself! And Otto's probably like, Never! And he tosses it into the space bridge! And then, kaboom! Big butter boom! And yeah, the, the old Spock is lost, and B starts remembering other stuff because Optimus Prime is awesome. The end. Really? That, that was it? Yeah! Okay. Sounds like what this episode was trying to do is just establish plot of the series, which means this show is following the typical three to five episode um, plot development. See, most shows try to spend three to five episodes establishing things like characters, setting, and plot, so that, you know, people who keep watching aren't, aren't lost, so yeah, okay. And it's establishing a few things with the lore and everything else, so yeah, sounds good. Yeah. But yeah, um, we, we find out what the all spark is, and it's very, very important because it has so many lives inside of it. Which means what? The, that it's important. But why are the lives inside it? Because uh, reasons and Megatron wants it. Why does Megatron want it? He doesn't seem like the fathering type. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll learn more in that soon, I guess. And stuff. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, right, so like and subscribe for more content. Remember, by controlling the web, I control the world. And transform.